muffin. I'm on my way to meet Jamie and Joe. And then we're gonna go meet the Harry Potter cast! <laughs> Let me just think of uh, just one of the, there were so many. Uh, there was one, uh, who was it in the tent? Yeah, you have no business here. This tent is only for champions and friends. One of the many. Natalia? Similar, I, I basically didn't have anything to say in mind. I said I'm coming to the door, but that's about it. Uh, I can't remember anything else, so maybe that one. <laughs> Alright, James. Mischief managed. Mischief managed. Oliver? Morning. Yeah. <laughs> One's mine and one isn't mine. Okay. So the first one, just because it was my first two words, is good luck. On okay. The platform, my three quarters. And then one in my, I guess, defense and honor is Mrs. Weasley's line. Oh. And I'm not going to say one of the words because I don't know what the age group is. That is, for my daughter, you. <laughs> It's so immersive here that if anything, it's you know you could you could fall into that character, I suppose, a lot easier. So today we had a meet and greet, we did the autograph signing, and then we had our um, premium Q and A, and then we had um, the costume Q and A with the costume designers for the third through eighth movies. And then we had the public Q&A, and then we had the tribute Q&A. So we got to see the cast four times today. So that was fun. And now I'm walking back to the hotel. Jamie and Joe just left me on the bridge. And I'm almost, it's gonna be a little bit old. It's day three of the celebration of Harry Potter. Last day. I'm walking over to the bridge to meet Jamie and Joe to go to breakfast at the Leaky Cauldron. And my feet hurt so bad I'm limping. <laughs> it's been a lot of walking and today is going to be the most yet because our breakfast is in Diagon Alley. The next event is in the other park. And then the next event is in the other park. So we're just gonna go back and forth between the two parks all day. It's gonna be a lot of walk. I'd just like to change this slightly. Do, don't get too close to him, but stand with your feet apart. Drive him down, 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 down. <clears throat> and, and, you, and you fall there, and, you, and you've lost. Yeah? <laughs> Actually, that's kind of how I ended up with Harry Potter because um, I'd worked for some years in, in film and, and a lot of the films I've done was with Stuart Gray, the production designer. So it's up to him, he's kind of the, the top of our department, the art department, and it's up to him to choose all the components of his team. Um, so it was kind of a natural evolution that when he went on to the next film, uh, he took his crew with him if we were available. And, uh, well, it wouldn't have worked out, would it? <laughs> Spoiler alert. <That's> true. <laughs> I think it worked out pretty well in the end yeah. for uh, Ron and Hermione. But I think that was a good, good way for it. And then, um, like, we, a few of us have been fortunate to see the cursed child as well, and like, seeing the, the evolution of the story as well. So personally, I think that that worked out just as well. Yeah. Well, that's only because Crumb had to go back to Durmstrang. <laughs>